Hello there Pisces, welcome to my channel, I'm the Soul Teacher. I'm here today to do a very interesting spread for you. Um, this is called the Three of Swords spread. And it's the broken, um, the broken Heart card in the tarot. And if you listened to my work before, you might have heard me say that um, when we get the Three of Swords in a reading, we tend to forget that Swords is a mental energy. It's not an emotional energy. It's, it's not cups, it's Swords. Now, what that means is that sometimes when you think your broken heart, um, the source of your broken heart is of an emotional nature, it isn't at all. It's actually um, mental. But in saying that and in realizing that, when something is mental you can change it so much easier than changing the emotional side of it right so this is what this reading is all about um when i did this reading for myself i almost fell off the chair i never thought that that's where my broken heart comes from and if you know where something comes from it's so much easier to heal that situation and to rectify it so let's see scorpio what is the cause of this heartbreak what is unable to be seen about this heartbreak what was the lesson learned and what is the first step needed to move forward towards healing right pisces what is the cause of your heartbreak wow crown chakra and i think it was virgo that got exactly this in this position the the source of your heartbreak pisces is you refuse to connect to divine connection. You refuse to connect to your soul, to your higher self, to your intuition. Um, you might suffer from headaches. Um, you might, see, I've always said Pisces, to me, Pisces is a very um, uh, psychic sign to me. I, you know, in, in my mind, Pisces should be like the most psychic and I haven't really met a lot of Pisces in my life that is psychic um, but I think this might be the reason why and I think it's because Pisces is the dreamer of the zodiac so you dream in technicolor you see in pictures and sometimes when what you see and because you're such a big dreamer I don't think you really believe that you are psychic and that what you see is actual divine guidance and that's why you're closed off to this energy and this pulls through to the rest of your life and it's the source of your heartbreak because it's the source of your soul it's the source of your soul purpose and you're closing you're closed off towards that and that's why you have this broken heart gosh okay what is unable to be seen about this heartbreak yeah um Gemini had exactly this one and do you see the heart that's right there in the middle of the sword um what you don't see is that it doesn't have to be a win or lose situation um I think that because you are such a dreamer and because you see so many things and so many different things I feel that you tend to focus on your mental energy much more. You tend to, when you when you have to make like real big life decisions, you tend to um, lean on your on your logical side, on your mental side, so much stronger because you're scared that if you actual if you actually give in to all of these beautifully colored pictures in your mind, that the, your life it's just too good to be true. You, your life won't work out like that. And I feel that you think that you shouldn't be using that ability or that those dreams or those pictures because you might lose. And this is what you're not seeing is the fact of the matter is if you can marry that mental energy and that um, emotional divine um, psychic energies, if you can marry those together, it is always a win-win situation then you cannot lose um, because that would also pull through to the rest of your life you will always have everything you want i think i've been saying um the past weeks in almost every single reading that i've done for you is what you dream you can have and that is something that you don't see you're unable to see it and that's the source of your heartbreak because you dream this but then you're like ah, but i can never have this and that pulls through to everything. And if you feel unfulfilled and unhappy, that would leave you with a broken heart. Okay, what was the lesson learned? 
challenging times. Exactly. Whenever you go with your mental energy and you don't go to, according to your divine guidance and to what you're feeling, um, you, you get to challenging times. Then you get to this point of, my goodness, what, what happened in my life? Um, I lost my job. I was retrenched. Um, this COVID thing happened and I lost money and um, I lost my house. Um, I lost my best friend. Because you don't listen to the beautiful pictures in your mind, Pisces, that leads you to challenging times. And that should be your lesson learned. This is also swords energy. So it's like your heartbreak is not in in the emotional side it's in the mental side or the cause of it anyway what is the first step needed to move forward to healing Ooh, did that not jump out i can't remember <laughs> goodness sorry i was like for a second there i was completely overwhelmed again because you are the last reading that i'm doing for this and i'm telling you I'm, it's it is crazy what's been coming out anyway so the first step is look there like in the core is our heart and you see all these colors around this guy's head embrace your dreaming ability embrace your psychic ability embrace your um your divine connection embrace your emotional side that's the first step towards healing and your whole life will change and everything you just be so much more, so much better than you ever could have thought. So Pisces, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I'm wishing you lots of love and light. Take care.